My name is Alice. I'm 19 years old and I'm a monster. When I was 8 years old, I was diagnosed with osteogenesis imperfecta. It's a condition which causes fractures in childhood. The condition is a genetic disorder, usually resulting from abnormalities of the genes that control the production of a protein called collagen. This is the main protein in bone and is essential for its strength. So, my doctor told me to eat more protein. I was always brought up a vegetarian. Slaughtering animals for food is disgusting. But I had to do it, or I'd be in a wheelchair forever. This isn't about my bones. It never has been. God, it's been ages since I read about her. I read that she um, got kicked out of college for being aggressive, apparently, but some other I feel so far. Well, what exactly do you want to know? She's a complicated girl, Alice. Come this way. She was such a loving child, Alice. So happy, so gentle. She loved everybody and everybody loved her. Then she went to high school and things changed. At first, thought it was hormones, just normal teenage behaviour. But then, as it got worse, I knew this was different. She'd scream the house down sometimes, hours on end. She trashed the bedroom so many times, too many times. I tried to control her, but I couldn't bring her back. I couldn't talk to Alice. I sometimes think, had her dad been around, things might have been different for her. I tried to help Alice but I don't think she can be helped. I want to save lives, but that doesn't mean putting my own life at risk. I didn't become a doctor to fail. I just wanted to help people. She's a lost cause. This thing that's in me, I can't control it. It's a virus, not just affecting my body, but it's affecting my mind, my family and friends. It's killing everything around me. But it's a part of me, I have to accept that. If it means losing everything precious to me, all the little memories from when I was a kid and growing up, well then, I guess it's fate. Everything happens for a reason, and if it's God's will to make me like this, then so be it. between you and Alice? Well we used to be dead close in primary school and it just got to a point where she just ignored my calls and texts all together and even ignored me in person. I mean to how close we actually were I just didn't think that she'd actually do it to me. Do you ever see her? Do I heck? I mean God knows where she is now. She dropped out of college. Nobody used to speak to her. It's just like she's disappeared. She's perfect. But she's She's not the same. She's not the same as she was. It's changed. You know, just something about it. I couldn't, I couldn't put my thumb on it. 